Yeah, hello. What's up, you guys? This is just a quick video to start off a new series. So, I'm going to start this thing every Tuesday. At least I'm going to try. Called Tackle Tuesday. So, all it really is, is just I'm going to be showing you how to um, do something with fishing. So, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to rig a Senko two different ways. So, what you're going to need for this is, luckily, you can use the same hook. So, you're going to need an offset hook. I have, I think, a size... 5 offset hook. I'm not exactly sure, but what you're going to do. So, camera right there and hope it stays. So, you're going to take your offset hook like this. You're going to get your Senko. Um, I'm using a Gary Yamamoto Senko. You're going to put the end of the Senko, the fat end, so that's the skinny end, that's the fat end. You're going to put the fat end just up to that bend through the hook. So just like this. Just up to there. And then you're gonna pull it out so it looks like that. You're gonna go all the way up the hook onto that little bend, twist it around so it looks like this. And then, so you're gonna look at the Senko, so where it points, so right there. You're gonna bend the Senko, and then just like this, and then right to where your finger is, right before it. You're gonna hook it just like this. So then, so this is one way to hook it, and this is the Texas rig that's weedless, um, weedless and weightless. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite ways to fish. Now, for the next way, it's gonna be wacky rig. There we go. Um, I know I'm out of the frame a little bit, but I'm blocking the light, so. Next way is Wacky Rig. Um, you can use the same Senko, but Wacky Rig is a lot more simple, but a little harder to fish. So what you're going to do is you're just going to hook it. So if you look at the Senko closely, there's rings. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's some rings on one side, rings on the other, and then there's a, a soft part um, in the middle of it. What you're going to want to do is right so on the skinny side of that smooth ring you're gonna want to hook it on like the first rings like right here or if you pick it up it should just be able to like be pretty even you're just gonna want to hook it right about in the middle the middle of the sango as best you can and then you just put it just like that and the nice thing about these um offset hooks is you can use them for both ways and you don't have to just use them for Senkos. There's a couple different types of soft plastics. I don't have all of them right here, but um, they're, uh, but this is just the main type. So it's a quick little video on how. So hope you guys liked the video. We are actively working on the website. I'm not sure when that's gonna be done, but the diss track is also being worked on. Also not sure when that's gonna be done. Hopefully both of those are gonna be done by this weekend. But see you guys later. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this channel. And see if we can't get uh, 250 subscribers by the end of the school year. See you guys later.